I'm David Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. One man is in critical condition, another in custody after an argument over gym shoes in Midtown Detroit. Police say it started on a bus and escalated after they got off near Woodward and Selden. The victim was shot in the cheek and shoulder. Two doctors near the scene helped the man before he was rushed to the hospital. The suspect tried blending into the crowd, but police caught him on Woodward. Kelly Stafford, the wife of Lions quarterback Matthew Stafford, is fighting a brain tumor. Kelly posted a picture with her husband saying in the past year she's felt dizzy and at times off balance. In January, she experienced vertigo after having an MRI to see what was going on. The Staffords received the stunning diagnosis. Kelly posted a picture of her brain scan saying the tumor is sitting on some cranial nerves and she's planning surgery to remove it. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Some kind of a game going on downtown. Oh, opening day. There you go. 45 degrees for a high, but we'll start in the mid 30s. Rain and snow chances about 30% at and around the ballpark here until 10 o'clock. Then rain chances linger through the game. Much better chance to get wet tomorrow in Lenawee, Monroe County. You got about a 60% chance there. 45 Thursday, 56 Friday. Here come the 60s. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all in the mid 60s. But Saturday is the best one there with sunshine all day long. All right, Dave, thanks. A deporta uh, deportation drama leaves Michigan taxpayers footing the bill to take care of a paroled prisoner from Cuba. 72-year-old Prudencio Loralfels was uh, convicted of drug charges in Macomb County and sentenced to life in 1989, but that sentence was cut in December, making him eligible for re release after 30 years. The state thought he would be deported, but the feds declined. Now the search is on for an assisted living center to take the frail parolee. And those are your 7 Action News headlines. We have these stories and much more on our website at WXYZ.com and on our app. Have a great night.